Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM Services Integration Framework. In today's session, we will see Multi Merge API. In recent tutorial, we have seen the Merge API, which is used to merge the only one record. Multi Merge APIs is used to merge the more than one record in a single request. The classes available for the multi merge API are multi merge request and multi merge response. The characteristics of the multi merge API are merges the multiple base object record that have been identified as a representing the same object. So we have to just pass the multiple records which will be merged. The final record will be decided by the Informatica MDM. That means we do not have to pass which is the source record and which is the target record. The target record will be automatically populated based on the trust and survivorship of the record. Multi merge API is more generic form of merge API. So merge API is a subset of the multi merge. If we say that it is not wrong. So merge is a sub part of multi merge API. Let's see what are the input parameters which are used for multi merge API. It uses two major parameters. First is record key list, which is required parameter, where we have to pass the unique identifier of the all the record which will be merged. The record, it is kind of optional parameter. For example, if you want to overwrite particular column, we can pass that overriding column in this request as a record. So record it sets the override values and specify the base object or the package name for the API. The override values are optional. So that means suppose um, the final winner uh, consider there are three record one which Mike Paul second is Michael Paul and third is again Mike Paul and you want the final record should have the value as Michael Paul then you can pass the that Michael Paul value as a record but which is optional the next the other optional parameters are task id as we discussed in the merge api task id is also the optional parameter in the multi merge api if you specify the task id and if that record is already part of the match match job that means it is populated in match table then and if you perform the multi merge operation on such record then any task guide, it means task guide which we specified will be marked as a close. The, if the records are not part of the match uh, table and those are still going to merge as a part of the multi merge record and for such a record the task is associated, such task will be marked as a obsolete. So if the, if the records are part of the match table then mark as close. If the records are not part of the match table then tasks are marked as a obsolete sample code so sample code look like this we have to create object of multi merge record by using new operator of course you can use the other ways also to create object such as if you use a class dot for name it will be the same thing then we have to create the array list the array list will uh, it is specifically for the uh, uh, maintaining the all the record keys then we have to create the record keys for the each record that will become a, a cluster after merging. So for example, row ID 1, row ID 2 and row ID 3, this record we want to merge together. So we for each record we have to create one record key. So here, so key, um, in the record key, we have to set the row ID 1 then the row id2 and row id3 and those record keys will be set in the record keys array list once the record keys array list is populated we have to set this record keys into the request so if you see the request dot set record keys list we are setting here but before setting that we have to create object of record also in the record we have to set the package name or we can set the base object name the field which uh, we want to override for example in this example it is shown the record dot set field new field equal to name and we have passed the name as a john so john will be 
winner uh, will be the first na uh, name will be the john in the winning record once we populated the record we can pass that record to the request and that request will be finally passed to the cypher and client process method so this is the uh, sample code for the multi merge request so let's see what are the prerequisites so first prerequisite is nothing but we have to configure uh, base object table so we already configure the base object table the name of table is c underscore b underscore purse it has column first name last name ssn and row id object we have just uh, selected custom columns uh, the system column if you see there are some system columns also available let's hide those then if you see whether the state management is enabled or not yes the timeline is enabled which is dynamic timeline timeline that means state management is enabled for this table we also need the base object or the package but however in our java code we are going to use the package so we have created the package also the name of package is pkg underscore put underscore purse and it is put enable so you can see the checkbox is enable this package is based on the cb purse table and if you want to see that so you can see the stable purse is available and the name is cb underscore purse <laughs> and the column selected are row id object half state indicator first name last name ssn however these columns will not impact only those columns will be used if you use the uh, overriding optional uh, overriding option in your multi merge request okay so let's see what data we have so in order to see the data we will go to the database and in the cb post table we have these are the record so out of this three uh, record the first three record the record with row id object 2006 2005 and 2002 we will try to merge because if you see the first name and last uh, first name and the last name quite similar so Th those looks like the for the same person so we, what we'll do we'll merge this record the if you see the ssn ssn is different for each record even suppose if i specify exact match rule on the ssn so by that way this will not get merged but i can write a, a, a custom logic using the java multi-merge api where it will not consider the ssn column even it is an exact column in your match and merge rule so by that way we can merge this record also by passing this row id object so let's see so we have the row id object 2006 2005 and 2003 along with this if you notice the consolidation indicator for this record is 444 that means we do not require to run the match job before running merge or multi merge api even the it is freshly loaded record can be merged using the merge api or the multi merge api so these are the minimum things we need to configure in the mdm hub and we need to populate the data in the database side once we we are done with that we have to create one java class called as a multi merge api you can give any name we have given the as a name similar name uh, in this name uh, we have to create multi merge api object using the new operator and we can call the multi merge record or you can give any method name it doesn't matter so let me give some multi merge name multi merge record and this is the method name you can give any name to the method also there is no restriction in this multi merge record method we have created object of multi merge request and we also created record keys array list in that record keys array list we have passed row id object 2006 2005 2002 once we are done with that we have created a record object and in that record object we have set the package name pkg put purse which is we already seen here if you see the package name it is physical name is pkg underscore put underscore purse and then we have set the record keys one which we have populated we set in the request and in the request we also set the record whatever the package we have set 
we are not set the action optional field that is filled to override uh, however if you want you can set that once we populate the request object we can pass that request object to the cypern client api and call the process method using this request object if the request is successful it will return a successful response so meanwhile just i will do the refresh so i have the three records with the 2006 2005 2002 with the first name as a rich so let's run the program and see which record will be the winner whether 2006 or 2005 or 2002 in order to run just right click and run as a java application <coughs> now the multi merge was successfully processed let's check the database now i can see only one record got winner so this winner record will be decided by the informatic mdm that is not in our hand and the consolation indicator become a two if you want to validate go to the mdm hub data manager and particularly for the 2006 i can see the x are 2005 and 2002 so it is uh, successfully merge those multiple records so normally in the real time we don't get such scenario where we have to merge only one record normally we get this we have to merge the multiple record so multiple uh, multi merge api definitely helpful to achieve that so by this way we can conclude that by using the multi merge api we can merge the multiple records in a single request i hope this tutorial will definitely help you to understand the business uh, basic concept about the multi merge api and how to use it thank you for watching my video do not forget to subscribe my channel have a nice